Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. I hope you guys are having a great day and let's get started. So we did see a little bit of break in the market today uh, and one thing that, you know, something that hasn't happened in quite some time, I'll point out, but uh, but our predictive analytics model, uh, you know, we, we had some extreme bullish sentiment readings time-wise. Uh, from an intermediate term, uh, the, you know, view, it, it's been bull friendly since December. 2018 right around the uh, the exact lows that that came into place and uh, it, it's been that way and and you know members have known that it was going to be bull friendly into the springtime but now we're running into uh, a time when the, the bulls are running out of time and unfortunately what's the next thing that's going to hit is going to be the kill zone and the kill zone is pretty pretty important because these are the types of moves that we get on it uh, huge moves to the downside and uh, most likely if history is going to be our guide uh, we're going to see the majority of the people that are going to be bullish on the market when that happens they're not even going to know it's taking place so our predictive analytics model, like I said, uh, time-wise, uh, intermediate term, we're, we're, we're now neutral to bullish because we're the bulls are running out of time on this. Uh, sentiment, we've had extreme sentiment, bullish sentiment readings and technicals. There's a lot of reasons to be, um, you know, looking for a, you know, a top to take place. And maybe it hit today, maybe it didn't. We've taken a few stabs at the, uh, at the short side, and that was strictly from... Uh, a, an extreme bullish sentiment reading as well as technicals. The intermediate term time period uh, that was bull friendly remains that way. That never changed. So this was from a technical view and um, I, I really uh, I, I thought that we were going to head down a little bit more. We, we had caught a 100 point move to the downside. That was good. And the other ones were just minor and they got bid up at the 50 day moving average. And that's what I'm going to show you because that's really the one thing that has changed. So uh, right now as far as sentiment on intermediate as well as short term we're up in this area here so that's where I'm saying the kill zone everybody's going to be in the euphoric time period uh, phase thinking that the market's only going to go up and they're not going to realize because what's going to happen is they're going to be buying the dip down here and before they know it they're in panic mode and that's most likely when we're going to be hitting the low on that we'll be switching back to the long side but here you can see from a sentiment reading that uh, every the market's really gone up, but just kind of diagonal. It hasn't really gone straight up. This was the easy money. This is where we got long on the market. Once we got into this period here, we started getting technical reasons to uh, to look for a pullback, and and we got we got some, but they were nothing. And this was really the one where we, we you know was the hundred point drop that made sense on it. Um, we didn't capture all the profits because we got stopped out because I thought we were going to go a little bit higher but that, that's a mistake I made it's not going to be it's not the first time and it's not going to be the last time uh, it, it just was from a technical view that uh, expectations were going to go for a little bit uh, deeper of a pullback than it happened and that didn't happen but here's when you know now everybody's jumping you know everybody's bullish on this market and it's we've really gone gone just sideways and and this is what lures everybody in as we head into the kill zone because what i'm anticipating is that it, it we're, we we may have started the the nail biter today um you know i'm just gonna watch and see i have my short-term targets that i'll show you but um it could turn viral and, and it could head down in a very fast manner that would make perfect sense but i still believe that we're going to come up and test these highs or even break them so we might have one more quick long trade but we'll know as we're heading into that kill zone to, you know, step out, even if the market continues higher, wait for the the, the, the sell trigger and, and look to go short as everybody's looking to, you know, looking for the, the S&P to head to 5,000. And, and that's the kill zone when the, these moves just happen very, very quickly. So um, today, I, uh, you know, we put out a, a sell trigger, a trade alert. It was a break below 29.40 two as always we have our stop it was a you know 13 point risk and and i i got stopped out a few times it, it's what happens with in trading you gotta lick your wounds and and say you were wrong but when you're when you're right on these it, you know we could get 100 points so i always measure risk reward on uh on the trade setups that i do and it's it's you know one of those things where 
it it just kept going up and and like i said it, it's uh, it's going to happen where where the market's going to ignore technicals and and everything else and just continue to grind higher but it doesn't make the long side safe and and let me show you what i mean by that so here's the es uh the s p futures you can see within this wedge we have five waves up at this we looked like we were making the final wave but we are also forming another little wedge in place here. So this was my where I was looking as far as a target, and that's coming down to the 2900 level. So let's take a look at our regular charts, and I'll show you what has actually changed. And if you look going all the way back to March 27th, uh, when we broke below the 50-day moving average uh, on the uh, on the hourly chart, every time we came down, it got bid back up again, and this is the first real clean break. Now, here's the wedge that's in place. So I believe that the the bears need to push it through this 29.16. We're going to leave our stop, uh, you know, at 29.55. You can leave it at at. Uh, at the entry however they want to do it but if the bears can push through this 2916 I believe there's going to be a reaction trade down to the 2887 this is my short-term target for that trade up there now if this gets taken out then things can start to go viral and it, it, a move down to the 2722 would actually make perfect sense and here's why from this move all the way up to here we've only had one 23 percent retracement and that's this one here Every other one, I've, I haven't really, I've never seen a 600 point move with at least a little backing and filling. So to to expect a, 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 a retracement down to the 38% would make sense. And you can see that this also would match this, uh, this wedge target. So is it going to get there? I have no idea. We'll find out. We're just going to keep lowering our stops. But I do believe that the 2853 should be a magnet, and if it breaks through that, you can see that the 200-day moving average is at 2761, and since we're there, we can see a move down to the 2721. This probably would get a lot of people bearish, and from there, we get the rally back up where if, again, if history is our, our, our clue on this, people aren't going to get bullish on the market until we're, we're, we, we're well into the rally. So if we do get a move down here, they're probably not going to get bullish until we cross above the 2875. And when that happens, guess what? We're running into the kill zone. And from there, everybody will be bullish again. I'm anticipating that we will see extreme bullish sentiment readings. And then from that point, I believe we do hit the kill zone. And, and we're going to have a massive move to the downside. And uh, really just mess with a lot of traders' heads. So it's um it, it, these dates are going to be important. I, I've been expecting some volatility. Today may have started it. We'll see. I'm not going to jump the gun. I think that really the main thing for the Bears is going to be to push it through this uh, this 2915. If they do that, reaction trade should be down to the 2887. On the upside, really what the, the if the Bulls want to get themselves out of trouble, the first line they got to get above 2936 and then more importantly above the 2943. If they do that, then I believe they're going to come back up and test these highs or break them. On the downside, I, I still think this 2890 is going to be a magnet. So again, we have some uh, some important dates that are going to be approaching. The kill zone is going to be there. Anybody that uh, was uh, in the market when this took place, if, if you didn't know that we were heading into that bearish time frame like our members did, you got crushed. And, and the other one is coming, and this one may be just as fierce on the downside. So with that, have a great great night and good luck with your trades.